Um, here is the statement that we are together on. The United States and China are at a historic decision point in the relationship between our countries. The bipart our bipartisan Senate delegation spoke candidly with President Xi about a range of issues and our, our respective priorities. We made clear to President Xi that America wants fairness and stability. At the foundation of the relationship must be a level playing field for American businesses and workers, as well as responsible competition. We made clear we don't think that level playing field exists right now. We need reciprocity. That means that the American companies are able to compete as freely in China as Chinese companies are able to compete in America. We made clear to President Xi that we don't think reciprocity exists either. We raise the huge structural inequalities and serious imbalances the U.S. faces in its economic and trade relationship with China. For decades, the Chinese government has erected significant barriers aimed at restricting the ability of American companies to compete in an open and fair manner. We made clear the United States cannot sit idly by and that we must address the Chinese government's forced technology transfers, theft of intellectual property, required joint ventures, and intimidation of U.S. businesses operating in China, among other troubling activities that undermine the lack of reciprocity. Specifically, we also raise the need to remove strict restrictions and open up Chinese markets to U.S. companies, including from the semiconductor financial services and aerospace industries. China must also end the policies that intimidate U.S. businesses operating in China. We had a long list of issues we feel China had to address. And we were very, very clear and specific on all of those. The United States needs to, is ready to compete vigorously with the PRC, but we also must hold China accountable for any unfair practices that undermine the relationship between our countries. Equally important to the need for reciprocity is the need for China to take more aggressive action to stop fentanyl from coming into America. Our delegation shared personal stories of how the scourge of fentanyl is costing tens of thousands of lives and destroying American families. We spent a great deal of time on this issue because we believe it is so important. We called on President Xi to work with the United States to stem the flow of precursor chemicals that are fueling America's fentanyl crisis. We urge President Xi to open a channel of communication to stem the flow of fentanyl precursor chemicals. We believe it's imperative on this issue that China act. While we must ensure that our trade policies are fair, the United States will also prioritize economic and national security, including protecting advanced technologies. Our delegation is clear that we do not seek a confrontation with China, but we will remain steadfast in our commitment to promoting stability in the region, freedom, and democratic principles, and vigorously defend our values. We are looking we are looking forward to building on the honest but productive conversations we had today with President Xi and other government officials to discuss our shared interest in long-term stability for two countries. The best path forward for the United States remains cooperation and fair competition. And one other point, I also made a request, a direct request to President Xi that the foreign ministry strengthen their statement on the Middle East, which didn't even mention the loss of the horrible, gut-wrenching loss of civilian life. I'm gratified the foreign ministry issued a new statement that did condemn the loss of civilian life. We're ready for your questions.